Hello and welcome to this CDP Studio tutorial. In this tutorial we will create a library and add our own CDP components to it. The first thing we do is click create new library and give it a suitable name. You can also create a library via the context menu by right clicking in the side pane and choosing create new library. We are going to be adding a new component to our library. You can do this by right clicking the library and selecting add new. You then select CDP component model. The number you see here is the frequency of the component. It tells us how many times per second the component will run. We will leave this at 5. We will also fill out a proper name and description for our component. You will then be taken to the code mode. You can also add component from the code mode by right clicking the library and selecting add new. Our component is going to need inputs and outputs. In CDP these are called signals. To add a signal to the component we simply right click inside the code editor and select CDP then add then signal. You can also see the shortcuts listed. To open the signals dialog by shortcut you would click control shift then A release, then click S. Having done that would bring up the signal creation dialog. In this dialog you check the input checkbox if the signal is going to be an input and give the signal a suitable name. If you are going to create several signals you can also check the create another checkbox. This is handy if you have to create a very large amount of signals. Our signals are now created, and you can see the auto-generated code within our component create function. The CDP component model implements a state machine. The register state process function sets the states for our component. The null state that you can see is the initial state. We can add more states and transitions between states using the context menu. However, when making a simple component that only needs one state, one can overload the initial null state and use the process null function to run your code. Since we will not be using several states for this example, we will just use the initial null state for running our code. After writing your component, you need to build the library. You can do this by right clicking the library and clicking build. When building the library, you must use the build kit required by the device you are deploying to. The library's build kit can be changed in configure mode. We just need a simple system with a sign component in order to test our library. We'll just quickly create one and add a sign component to it, then add our component to it. Now we need to connect the input of our component to the output of the sign component. This is done via the routing system. We simply type in the hierarchy until we find the sign component's output. When that is done, we can run the system. The application is now running. We will now connect to the system. If we inspect our component, we can see that it is working. We can also use analyze mode in order to closely inspect what it does to the sine wave. Here you can see it working and transforming the sine wave into a square wave. This was all for this tutorial and I will see you in the next video.